clouds are really creeping in. Hopefully it doesn't start raining. And what was going on today? Imagine seeing this where recently you've heard all about like DJI FPP and so forth where you're more likely to crash a drone like that just for the style of it. It'll probably get really expensive. How about releasing a drone where your whole advertising campaign it seems like or a large part of it is actually crashing a drone through windows. This one here says revolutionary new drone made to aid tactical teams in barricade, hostage and active shooter situations. And I'm not kidding, look at how many of their marking materials like this one where they're just smashing like the drone through a window over and over again. I guess it's supposed to simulate a time, let's just say if a police officer needs to smash the drone through a window for whatever reason, like getting into a home, you'll have no problem with it. I guess as it says here, the Brink Drones Lemur is designed to help SWAT teams locate, isolate and communicate with suspects. A ruggedized and durable composition combined with an easy to use payload bay allows the Lemur to break glass, scale stairs, conduct two-way communications with a suspect and flip over after crashes. The Lemur's novel battery technology is based on lithium ion chemistry and allows for 31 minutes of flight time with up to 10 hours of perch time. Built to be flown, first person view. The Limmer is a modular high definition RGB camera, built in night vision and IR illuminators to ensure operations run smoothly in the most demanding indoor environments. I guess this one is meant to last. If you want a drone or an FPV one that can survive crashes, I guess this is it. It's kind of interesting how they say it can actually flip back to its, I guess, right side as well to start flying again. They actually have like a little demo of this. That's so kind of cool, I guess, because I know often stuff like that, when you crash your drone, the people have to get up, go flip it back up, and then fly it again. Whereas this one, I guess you could do it on its own or whatever functions it has here. And read this, I guess, little bits that they post. It says here, glass breaker. Effective at breaking tempered automotive and most residential glass, the glass breaker spins up to 30,000 RPM and allows the limmer to make entry into structures. It is easily attached to the payload mount using three thumb screws. Can you imagine that? If people are using this for like a car chase, like for the police, and you actually ram this into the car inside? Although that would be a little different. I don't think that would actually work with it just with the speed of the car and all that. And one of the pitches for this drone it seems like, which could be a big deal for people in the US, they say it's an American made drone. So with all those bans of things like DJI not being able to get parts from the US or potentially banning all their products for government use, this could be an option and in many ways I think this is what a lot of companies have to do to stand out. As opposed to only focusing on flight time and camera, you gotta find a way to be different. I guess these guys want to be known as the drone that breaks through glass I guess. This is definitely not a toy though as apparently the price for this thing is about $10,000. Although funny enough with that thought, it makes you wonder if this thing actually lasts crashing and all that, would it actually be cheaper in the long run than some of the other drones because obviously they're not built for you to smash them through windows. Although this might be interesting for a business to use, I've often seen those places that are like stress relief where people pay money literally I guess to go to a room and they smash bottles or sometimes even equipment like a computer just to relieve stress. Would you pay money for that? Basically, you'll get to fly this drone through like an indoor controlled environment window for the heck of it.
Alright, see you guys later.